Today, we will learn measurement of angles. In the previous chapter, we learned that two rays starting from the same point form an angle. Are all angles the same? Think a little. No, we see that the angle formed between the wall and the floor is different from the angle formed between the ladder and the wall or the angle formed between the ladder and the floor. In a clock, if we place one needle in a fixed position and rotate the other needle, we will get different angles. To understand the concept of angles, we classify them into various types. To classify angles, it is necessary to know how to measure the angles. So let's learn measurement of angles. You must have seen this object in your geometry box. Can you tell what it is and what its use is? Think a little. Let me tell you. We call this a protractor. We use it to measure angles. Its edge is divided into 180 equal parts where each part is called a degree. To measure, 0 to 180 marks are marked on it from both the left and the right sides. Just as we measure length in meters and weight in kilograms, we measure angle in degrees and denote it by this sign. For example, the measurement of this angle is 90 degrees and is expressed as 90 degrees. Using the protractor, we can measure 0 degrees to 180 degrees. So let's find out how to measure an angle. Look, here is ray QP and ray QR. They are starting from the same common starting point Q and create an angle PQR. Here, point Q is the vertex of angle PQR. Similarly, ray PQ and ray QR are the sides of the angle PQR. Let us find the measurement of this angle. To start with, we place the protractor in such a way that the midpoint of its straight side comes on top of vertex Q. We will adjust the protractor in such a way that the line shown on the straight line completely covers any one side of the angle. Here, we place it on the side PQ. Side PQ represents zero angle. Therefore, we read that scale shown on the protractor on which PQ is expressed as zero. Moving ahead, on this scale, we will see which markings the other side of the angle is pointing to. Like here, QR is pointing to the mark 45 representing 45 degrees. With this, we can say that measure of angle PQR is 45 degrees. Today, we learn measurement of angles. In the next video, we will learn some important concepts related to angles.